like the only thing I know about hormones in chickens and why I shouldn't have them is gynecomastia, right? Man boobs. <laughs> I don't want. First of all, Motaz, like unless you're eating only chicken and all chicken and piles of chicken, you're not going to get man boobs from eating chicken, okay? Right. Okay. I'm Motaz. I'm a reporter at ABC Life. And in my head, I'm healthy, but I probably could be doing better. This is Dr. Sandro DeMaia. His shtick? Food and health. And I've got a lot of questions, so I'm hoping he can help. I mean, brace yourself. This is going to be a dumb question, but... Um, so if, if you're having, I guess, chicken with antibiotics in it, like, surely that's a... That's a two birds with one stone situation you got going on there. You cure the flu and make dinner. So the real question is the presence of antibiotics in like chicken and meat. Is that bad for me, the individual, or is that bad for the environment? Both. It's bad for you for two reasons, and it's bad for the environment for a further one. But let's not also forget the chicken. The reason we give chickens antibiotics is, is basically so that we can put them in um, conditions that we certainly want, wouldn't want to live. Um, so that's the first reason why we should avoid antibiotics in chickens. Secondly, we know that um, antibiotics will disrupt your microbiome. So you have you know, 10 billion microorganisms living in your gut. If you're sort of dousing them in uh, antibiotics or antibiotic residues that are in the food you're eating, it's obviously going to disrupt and change that microbiome. And the microbiome is super important for everything from digestion to maintaining a healthy weight. So that's a second reason. A third reason is it does increase the chances of bugs becoming superbugs. And the final reason is because you actually do pee some of those, pee or poop, some of those residues out into the environment. So they're going into our waterways, they're going into our aquifers, they're going into the ocean. The evidence is very poor because it's really hard to obviously run a trial on, well, what does that mean? We don't have a second planet to compare it to with no antibiotics. But in general, it's not a great idea to have all of these antibiotics entering animals, entering us, entering our microbiome and entering the planet. So what do you want me to do with my, my chicken consumption this week? Okay, so I want you to go to the supermarket Look for something that's antibiotic free, free range and certified. Then when you eat the chicken, get a bunch of friends together, really enjoy it. Make it into something that is a celebration because you're actually eating an animal and it's a privilege to be eating meat. And the third is when the chicken carcass is fully eaten and enjoyed and you guys had a great time, I want you to use that carcass and make a soup for the next few days. Okay. I mean, I'll give it a go. I, I, I will do it. I'll actually do Trust it. Trust me, this is going to change your life, buddy. All right. Chicken carcass. I've never thought, but I just feel like once it's been cooked. All right. No, that's No, no, it's, 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 it's delicious. The trick is to put the carcass back in the oven and, and roast it for like another 15 minutes so that the meat and the bones go a little bit gold. It intensifies the flavor. Pop that whole carcass, all of it, in a, in a big pot with a chopped up raw onion, maybe some carrots, some celery, some parsley, put the lid on and leave it for like an hour on low. Okay, <laughs> it's out, it, I swear it's super easy to do. I'm sold, I'm gonna do it, I'll Add do it. Add a bit of salt and then you've got yourself like chicken soup, great for the soul and great for Motaz. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs>